yesterday, I found my Bitcoin wallet from 2013. You may have seen one of my previous videos. I said I dabbled with Bitcoin in 2009, um, but I had no idea that I dabbled in Bitcoin in 2013 as well. I found my Bitcoin wallet yesterday completely by accident because I've been creating some altcoin wallets on my computer um, and noticed that my hard drive space had gone down from like 80 gigabytes free to about 20 gigabytes free. And I realized that actually it's kind of prohibitive to have these great big 20 gigabyte altcoin wallets on my computer. So I looked up how to sort of find them and I deleted a few of them that I wasn't using. But in there, I found a folder called Bitcoin. And when I opened it up, I found a wallet.dat file. And I thought, oh my God, my 2013 Bitcoin wallet. But how am I going to open it? I don't have the software installed. I had no idea what to do. So I looked it up on the internet and it basically turns out that you can still open those old wallet.dat files in the current version of Bitcoin Core but you have to download the entire blockchain, which is 140 gigabytes, uh, which I don't even have that space on my computer, so I really didn't know what I was gonna do at this point. I wasn't even sure actually whether or not my wallet was encrypted. I didn't remember putting a passcode on, and if I did have one, then I wasn't sure what it was. I could have a guess, but I really didn't know. I did a little bit more digging around, and actually, it turns out that you don't need to download the entire blockchain. You can just use Bitcoin Core to get the um, private keys, I think they're called, or the Bitcoin addresses. And then you can put those into another, albeit less secure program. I use the, the special command in Bitcoin Core. And then I loaded those into Electrum, which is another uh, Bitcoin wallet thing that where you don't actually have to download the blockchain. Now, that wouldn't actually let me send from those addresses, but it would allow me to check them, sync them with the latest version of the blockchain and see whether or not any of the Bitcoins that I mined were in there or whether or not I'd received um, any random payments by accident or on purpose uh, over the last, whatever that is, five years. So... I followed this procedure, loaded them up, waited for it to sync the information, and um, I'm pleased to tell you that I have absolutely nothing in my Bitcoin account. I never actually mined any Bitcoin, and it looks like it must be extremely unlikely for people to accidentally send you um, cryptocurrencies, probably because those addresses are so long and complex, it's probably really unlikely, um, but yeah, five years, what looked to be about a hundred Bitcoin addresses and uh, not a single, not even one penny in there. Absolute, slightly disappointing, but at least I know in future, if I find another one lying around, I can check that. It's a shame, I was sort of hoping I'd wake up a millionaire today, but never mind. Actually, you should check if you've ever had anything to do with Bitcoin, you should go and have a look on your computer see whether or not you can find a wallet.dat file. Um, and if you can, make a copy of it so that you don't corrupt it. Um, make several copies of it, in fact, and then try and use Bitcoin Core to dump out the addresses and then load those into Electrum and see whether or not you've got any secret money stored in your Bitcoin account. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little story and I shall see you next time for another video.